Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists in our opinion, of course. <laughs> I'm Bob. I wanted to Bob. cut him off for once. Why, Bob? If Bob. I ever can make Lonnie laugh, I feel like I've done a good job. Yeah, so. I know, but now we're going to get comments, and then <laughs> you know how it goes. All right, say your line. No, I'm, go, I'm, okay, no you're done. not anymore. I'm done. 12 fantastic ankle, knee, and hip balance exercises mm. on the basu ball. Yes. And now this one is by Can Do. Can Do, C-A-N-D-O? Yes. Okay. And they're part of this company here, FEI. And they sent us this, uh, Fabrications Enterprises Incorporated. Incorporated. It's quite a name. And again, if you're a therapist, I highly recommend you get their catalog. Go sure. to their, their link below. Um, I'll also have this listed in our products section, right. Brad, yeah. uh, in Amazon. So if you want to get one, it's a good price. And, it, and you're going to mention that it's a good size. Right. Because the, the can or the Basu ball. The yeah. old one that you had. Right. The one that the original one, I believe it's the original. I don't know. But the ones I've always seen in therapy clinics, they're bigger than this. And yeah. they work very well. But they're bigger than this. And they're it's huge. It, when I have to carry it around to put it from the closet out into the gym to work with somebody, I never really look forward to it. Yeah. It wasn't so bad 20 years ago. But now as I'm thinking about it a little bit more, and plus you have the space to, to, to right. put it somewhere. and. This you know, is just perfect size, right? And actually, this one has a little place that you can hang it on the wall. Because I, I hung it on the wall, but I literally had to go in my garage and make a strap so I could hang it on the wall. Well, I think you can put a, uh, attachments of exercise tubing on this, too. Sure, but so I, I'm, what... I'm thinking about storage, Bob. Because, <laughs> you know, it's all about storage when you don't have a that's lot of right. room. That's, that's Brad. Well, you don't want to be walking on this thing, you know, unless you're using it for exercise. So are we eventually going to show some exercises? No, on Bob, we're going to talk about the, no, the size of it so the basu ball the only thing i can think of what that name do bass basu ball yeah the only thing i can think of uh is both sides up yeah that's, that's, what, that's, that's what i was told right but i don't know if that's true doesn't matter because you can exercise it like this or like this and you're going to say well that doesn't make any sense but say no more we'll give you all the ins and outs by the way, talking about not making any sense, if you're trying to figure out why you clicked onto this channel right now, please take a second to make another uh, mistake and subscribe to us. Yes. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also go over to Facebook mm -hmm. and like us there because Brad and I like to be liked. Right, and we need it. Okay, right. here we go. So what do you use it for? If you've got an ankle sprain, uh, injury to your knee or your hip, if you've had a stroke and you're recovering to a higher level, all this, you can really improve your balance, strength, proprioception. This is a perfect tool for the that. Proprioception is a sense of where your joint is without looking at it. So like right now, if you look at my foot, I can tell without looking at it that I'm pointing my toe toward me. Now it's away, in, out. And that gets affected to a minor, not to a minor standpoint. Well, you often, after someone sprain their ankle, they'll stand on one leg and then they'll stand on the other leg and they'll be like this. Right. So everything... The so, connections are all messed up, and they got to get them all aligned. Those are nice socks you had on, by the way, Bob. I like those gargoyles. <laughs> they match the, the can-do ball, too. Argyle. Okay, so we're going to okay. start with an upside down. And this is the way I typically start because it's a little easier to stand on the ball. Now, and always remember, safety first. Safety yeah, first. So. Um, this is why in the, in the gym, I always put this in parallel bars. Because then the person has something to stand on. Bars on each side of them. Right. That is, uh, keep them safe. Chair or are you going to use a cane? Uh, I'll just use a cane. At home, get a good solid chair, a cane, maybe a chair on both sides. Because it's wobbly. Yeah. And that really is going to challenge your strength, your balance. Yeah, and you and don't want to re-sprain your ankle. <laughs> exactly. Or break your ankle. But that's why you're going you're gonna to use this side first. If you flip it over, that's the more advanced size. And you can actually roll your ankle on that side if you're not careful. So here, you go like this, and you get used to this thing to begin with. And okay. obviously two feet on to start. Right. So, so this is number one, just getting used to it. There, uh, there's 12. Now, we did make a video using this about oh, earlier this year, uh, but this one's got 12 versus 10, and I got a different color shirt on. So there's some big differences. Well, we got a different... Uh, uh, basu ball. Right. It's a little, it is smaller. Mm -hmm. So Different color, too. Okay. So here we got two feet. Now, when you get used to that, okay, then you're going to let go of one side and see how that goes. You're still getting used to it, working your balance, and then you're going to go like this. When that feels good, Bob, can you throw me the big red ball? 
So you're you? not doing any certain pattern right now, forward, back, side, nope. side? All no. I'm doing is keeping just, my balance. Just holding your balance yep. right now. We're going to do that forward and back on another pattern. That's a good okay. point, though, Bob. There's, you know, these 12 are not the only way to do it. And I'm just going to start out dribbling. You can use a basketball, one of these balls. Okay. Now, Bob, why don't you go behind Lonnie about 30 yards? <laughs> I can't I just, go behind 30 yards. I can go okay. right out here. And then you start throwing. And you can see this really challenges. And not only, you know, from a therapist's point of view, we're not only working the ankles, the hips, and the knees, we're working the ears, that balance point in the see ear. See what I'm doing? I'm throwing to his right and I'm throwing uh, to his left. So yeah. making a challenge. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> Catch that. Okay. Now the next one. Okay, now the, hold on, Bob. Oh, sure. We always like to make things difficult. If my right side was the involved leg, I'm going to go on the left leg first and see how easy it is. Sure. And it's like, oh, that's your good leg. It's not too bad. Then this you is use, where you're, you're going to see the difference. Yeah, this is where you challenge that injured leg. And you're going to, again, start with something on both sides. You can work it around. And you'll feel the muscles in your feet and your ankles and your hip and everything are just going to town right now. Then we'll go to here. Do, 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 do. Now you're down to one. Yep. Holding on with just one hand. And, and okay, gonna, Bob, I think I'm ready. You think you're going to try this? Yeah, no, I'm doing all of this. <laughs> it's pretty tough to do. I've had, go ahead, Bob, I can do it because I've had patients do this. I have to do what I make my patients do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're only going to do this if you're pretty, this is high level. Yeah, that's high level. Yeah, it is. There's one more I wanted to mention with both feet on, and that is doing squats. Because then you're working more strengthening along with the balance. And you do 10 of these on the Vasu ball compared to 10 on the ground, and it's like night and day difference. So, okay, I think that brings us to number five. Okay. Oh, we got a, we got a lot to do here. Right, and that, pick, the rest of them go pretty quick. Let's Bob. pick it up, Heineck. All right, there we go. And now we're going this way. Okay. Now, this is where you have to be careful. If you put your foot here, and then spend a little extra time on this, and your ankle could roll this way, and you can sprain your ankle all right. over again. So really make sure your ankle is a high level. It's strong. And again, starting with the chair. Chair. Make sure okay. you're stabilized. We're here to get healthier, not the other way around. And then get a feel for it. And here, Bob, you had mentioned doing plantar yeah. flexion. There, so you're gonna strengthen those muscles at the same time. You can kind of roll your... Roll clockwise yep. and counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, get everything going. Okay, now this is one I really like to do, is actually have the person march. And you start out real slow. Again, if you put your foot over here, you could easily sprain your ankle. This is, you know, this is one where, you know, your therapists are watching very closely to make sure everything is going well. Okay, and you can go to one support and possibly the no thing. support, but I would always keep the support available to you: a chair here, the cane in one hand, or another chair here. So you okay. can go one support and then even do some of the forward and back and circles sure. with that too, yep. right? Yep. A little more difficult. Yep. And if you um. want to try it without any support, you can. But make sure there's something there. And when you lose your balance, you can save your, your balance and, and, and prevent injury. Okay. So now, same thing. Put your foot right smack dag in, in the middle there, Bob. And we're going to do the same thing. Oh, that's, now you're working, I bet. Yep. Yeah, and now I'm, I got two supports down. If I take this one off, it's, it's more. And you can do it without any, but it's really wobbly. And, you know, I, got my, I don't have any injuries right now. And then you're going to gently go back and forth this way, because even with support, if I had a weak ankle, you know, you, you might be able to roll your ankle. If I had someone with a stroke, I probably will never use this side Inside of the ball. Of it, right. I would just flip it over and work the flat side, because it's sure. much, much uh, safer on the ankle. Okay. You could even start with this in a seated position, couldn't you? To some extent. Sure, you, know, you bet. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could put the, yeah, um, and flip it over. Right. And, and then he would be doing, yeah, yeah, back and forth. This is a really a beginner, beginner position. But now we're going up to 12 and 13, so we're giving you bonuses yeah. here. Um, this, this could work good. As a matter of fact, I got a patient I'm going to use this. 
idea. And thanks, yep. Bob. Always over deliver, I oh, say. Yeah, that's right. If you, <laughs> if you expect two, get three. Under, under promise, over deliver. Now, dynamic mobility, Bob, and balance along with it. Let's the, say you're outside walking on uneven ground, or yeah. you say you're a farmer and you have to negotiate around some terrain that's uneven. Sometimes it's squash, soft and squishy. Other times it's hard, rocks, etc. So you're going to put one foot on, step two, and again. Got the double canes now. Yeah, I'm going to use double canes because we're moving here. And then here, and then here. Now, I think it's important that you add the backwards movement because it tells you that if you know where your feet are in space without looking back there, it's very helpful because that's the way your body works when it's healthy. But after an injury, the right, the right foot might know where it's going, but for, because of the injury, the left foot may not, may be over here and you feel it's over here. So you want to fine tune that in, and that's what we're going to use this ball for as well. A lot of times, Brad, a lot, a lot of people think after an ankle injury that their ankle is weak. Right. And that's not necessarily the case. A lot of times it's lacking that proprioception. So when they hit an uneven surface like this, it starts turning, and they don't know it's turning. Sure. So th they don't react, and then and they flip it and, and turn the ankle completely. Sure. So yep. that's why we're training this. Yeah. You know, do it under controlled circumstances as opposed to doing it in, right. in the real world. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, well explained, Bob. Uh, the next thing I like to do is just walk up and over, up and over. I'll show you the profile here. Right leg, right leg, and maybe I go to the left leg. So instead of the step two, you're stepping right over. And then also side make sure step side step. Yep. Do -do, do -do. Man. Well done. Okay, there you go, Bob. What do you say about the Basu ball? Uh, I think it's on my Christmas list. Yeah, so, so very now you, good. Now you know what to get me. All right, thanks everybody for watching.